Zach Lowe's Jeremy Grant Lakers remark has fans buzzing. Zach Lowe made a comment that has everyone talking. When it comes to NBA content on ESPN, it's inevitable that even the most experienced reporters will eventually discuss the Los Angeles Lakers. Whether it's due to the team's immense popularity or their unpredictable week-to-week -week performance, the Lakers are a constant topic of conversation. During a segment on the Western Conference with Tim McMahon, Zach Lowe couldn't resist bringing up the Lakers. In just under a minute, he made a remark that sparked a lot of interest. Should we start printing the Jeremy Grant Lakers jerseys, by the way? Lowe asked. Should we just do it now? I might order one. Was Lowe joking? Probably. His tone suggested sarcasm, and McMahon joined in, humorously noting how every good player in the NBA seems to be linked to the Lakers at some point. But why would Lowe make such a comment if there wasn't some truth behind it? The Lakers are looking to recover from a disappointing free agency, with fans linking them to numerous players, from Paul George to Toos Jones, throughout the offseason. If Lowe felt comfortable enough to joke about it, there might be some substance to the speculation. Fans could potentially see Grant replacing players like Rui Hachimura or D'Angelo Russell in the starting lineup this fall. An NBA exec questions why the Lakers would trade for Jeremy Grant, discussing the possibility of the Lakers or Miami Heat trading for Jeremy Grant. An anonymous NBA executive expressed skepticism to Sean Devaney of Heavy. The executive questioned why a team would trade for the Trailblazers' leading scorer from the 2023-24 season, considering he is at best a third option on a good team. Jeremy Grant can play. He is a shooter. He is a good, active defender when he is engaged. He is going to do a lot of things that help your team. But he is a third option. He has some big numbers the last few years, but he has done it on terrible teams. No one is going to make a big trade for a guy who gives you 20 points on a bad team and 13 on a good one, the executive told Devaney. Not with his contract. He is going to make $30 million next year, $32 million the year after that. And then he has two more years. You can't pay your third option $34, $35 million. If Portland wants the Lakers, the Heat, or any of these teams to take him, they've got to recognize that. They're stubborn. Part of the job is to be stubborn, but part of the job is also seeing your mistakes and getting out of them. Grant was a mistake. Trading him now just to get out of that salary is the right thing to do. Take whatever picks or young guys you can get. Can the Lakers afford to give up their assets for a third option forward who can do a little bit of everything but isn't elite at anything? Probably not. However, if the price is right and Grant can be acquired without giving up any core players, the deal might be more appealing.